Yeah, what's going on everybody? It's your boy iPod King Carter here. What's up with y'all, man? I got a big update for you guys, man. It's time for me to retire David iPod King Carter, the point guard. Yeah, man, it was a crazy run. Your boy played two full seasons of my career, which means I played it all the way out. Um, I got two NBA championships. Both of those actually was with LeBron James. Now, the crazy thing is, man, I tried to win the NBA championship, but your boy was burnt out. You know what I'm saying? 2K was doing me wrong, was doing me dirty early on. You know what I'm saying? Couldn't get that chip for the Sixers without a star on the squad with me. But now that your boy has won his chips, I got the trophy, I got MVP accolades, I got all kinds of things, man. But it's time to retire, man. It's time to get up out of here, man. I think I came to do what I do. You know what I'm saying? I'm feeling like MJ, you know what I'm saying? Body always on fleet. You feel me? The body always good. You know what I'm saying? I also changed my number. My number is now number one. I'm the one. You feel me? But I did what I had to do, y'all. You know what I'm saying? NBA 2K17 is coming out. You know what I'm saying? And I got a big surprise for y'all on that creation. I can't wait. But we did it, man. We did it. I told y'all I was going to bring these chips to Philly, man. You know what I'm saying? Dr. J ain't the only one, man. You feel me? Dr. Carter in the building. You dig? You know what I'm saying? LeBron always hogging trophies like in real life. You know what I'm saying? LeBron would not let me hold that trophy. But I said, look, I got one better. You know what I'm saying? Finals MVP. Now, just to let you guys know, I did re-up with LeBron James. It was an easy decision, man. You know what I'm saying? In that contract extension, I read up. Now, you guys will see both my trophies right there. Now, you will notice, man, my second finals trophy, LeBron did win MVP finals. It's all good, though, man. It is what it is. But just to let you guys know, I did retire in uh, 2022. All right, just to let you guys know, you know what I'm saying? If you could do the math on that, go on ahead. But yeah, man, it took me a couple seasons to get these career accolades, you know what I'm saying? But I got all 10 that I needed, and it's time to retire. Hope you guys enjoyed the speech. Make sure you like the video. Subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'm signing out. Thank you. Thank you. Wow, it's... It's really an honor to be here in the company of so many people who've helped shape my career and the man I am today. You know, growing up in Harlem as a kid years ago, I never thought I'd be here being inducted into the Hall of Fame. Wow. I know I'm supposed to keep this short, but there are a few things I'd like to say and I would like to take the opportunity here. Now, I was blessed with a God-given talent to play this game of basketball at a high level. In high school and college, it was easy. Well, for me, it was. But I got to be honest. It took me a while to adjust to the professional game. You know, your natural talent can only take you so far. When I realized that, I knew I had an opportunity to make a lasting imprint on this league. I want my fair share of awards and accolades, but as I play longer, the less meaning they held. I started to realize what playing this game is all about. And if there's one thing I want to impart to all of you sitting here today, it's that Basketball is a beautiful game. It employs teamwork and chemistry like no other sport in the world. And once you get a handle on that, even a little, everything starts to change. I was fortunate enough to be in a situation with a great coach and teammates who also realized that. When it all comes together in the right way, when it just seems to click, that's when the magic happens. You know, that's when you get a chance to play for the ultimate prize. And if you're lucky enough to win an NBA championship. I'm proud to say that we did just that. Being an NBA champion was my biggest and greatest basketball accomplishment by far. Nothing comes close to it. 
Now, before I wrap this up, there are a few people I want to thank, of course. And I'd like to start with my family, first and foremost. It's an honor to have them here with me today. It means the world to me, and I hope I've done them proud. Mama, you taught me to be a good person and how to conduct myself in life. And now I'm trying to pass that on to my own kids and everyone around me. Pops, you know, <laughs> people talk to me quite a bit about being a role model. And I tell them every single time that they shouldn't look to me. They, did, they should look to somebody who is in their life day to day, as I did with you every step of the way. CC, <laughs> you've been by my side since day one, literally, right here. I couldn't have done none of this without you. You know, they say twins have a special bond and we're no different. <sighs> of course, Mr. Don Pagnotti, thank you, man. And Don, we trust, right? Now, I got to mention my boy, Vic, too. Not a day goes by where I'm not thinking about you, my man. Rest in power. Now, this goes without saying, I also have to thank all the players I've played with throughout the years. It's been a pleasure and an honor. To the fans and trainers who also made a difference in my career, you're the best. You really are. Now, I've said this years ago, and I'm saying it here today. I am truly living a dream. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>